This was the scene in Salina. A crane had collapsed. The cab turned over. The boom laid on top of this elementary school still being built. One person is dead. Fabiola Castilleja says it was her stepfather, Nenfi Alejandro. I'm sad. I'm still can't really fully process it. I think that it's just really a dream. I mean, I'm kind of numb right now. Alejandro is from Mexico, came to the U.S. for work. Described as a hardworking man, loving and funny. The family tells us the crane struck him in the head. In times like this, property can be fixed, but lives can't. And right now we just want to keep the families that were affected in this in our thoughts and prayers. The school being built is for Prosper ISD. The contractor is Poe Construction, but the crane and Alejandro were with a subcontractor. We wish to express our condolences and offer our prayers to his friends, family, and colleagues. Safety is our company's paramount concern, and we have a team on site to assist in the investigation. We are told OSHA, that's the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, will be investigating. It's unclear if Thursday's storms played a role. Alejandro and Veronica had been married three and a half years. All of this comes as a shock. They were very happy, so it's definitely hard on her, um, hard on us, because that was her, her partner in life. The family was one of the last to leave the site, hoping for answers, knowing now they have a funeral to plan. In Salina, I'm Jobin Puniker.